I know you thought it best That we spend a little time apart But one night without you Is too much for my heart I know I promise not to call Sorry But I didn't have a choice I just had To hear your voice I had to know that you're okay I couldn't get to sleep this way Please don't be mad at me Cause I really did the best I could But I just had to hear I spaz voice I am so honored and privileged to be back with you for your 25th anniversary. You don't look a day over 10. I will be 55 this year. Actually, I'll be 65. I looked much better when I said 65, didn't I? It's really just 55. But I want to share with you real briefly and, and let you know that you are part of every existence, every day in my existence. You are part of me. Um, but I want you to explore while you're here. I want you to explore each other because it's truly in each other's eyes that we become well, that we become whole. Um, since I've been here, I've suffered a lot of health stuff. In fact, I was back with the beautiful representative from Jane Aradal when she was doing my makeup. And we were both bemoaning the fact that steroids have pumped us up. But then I looked in her eyes and I knew we were both okay, that we were still here, that it doesn't matter. Um, I, I had long hair before I had a head injury. <laughs> I w I, it was about two years ago, I, uh, I think, I can't remember. <laughs> I went to the specialist and I said, you're gonna have to fix it. He said, we don't like to use words like fix. I said, make up a word and apply it. <laughs> he said, your brain is like a computer. It has to reboot. Just like a computer, it will reboot. It's going to take a couple of years. I looked at him and did this. <laughs> he said, are you OK? I said, uh-huh. <laughs> he said, what are you doing? I said, deleting old files. <laughs> oh, look, there's you. You don't have to knock yourself inside of anything to, to delete your old files. You can do it by looking and learning through each other. I had to, my hair in the center is really short. If I let it grow out too long, I could tell because the people where I serve the homeless, they'll let me know, they invite me in the line. <laughs> Baby, don't be ashamed of this line. Get in this line, I'm here to cook. <laughs> but my hair in the center is really curly, the sides are straight. My hairdresser decided to fix it by cutting down into it. It looked really, really good when it was wet. Then it dried. I had big gaping holes throughout my head. I tried to do that thing that men do. It didn't work because I didn't have one long piece to whip around. I'm in the airport just like, uh, I look a mess because I'm going to speak to thousands of people. I'm going to be on big jumbotrons like I am today. I'm like, oh my God, I look a mess. And when I get down like that, I have to talk to myself. I went to the bathroom to talk to myself. I usually use the voice of Nelson Mandela. <laughs> I'm in the mirror. Our greatest fear is not that we... <laughs> not that we are powerless, but that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that we are afraid of. I'm like, that's right. I go to the gate, I'm all pumped up on Nelson Mandela now. Steroids be gone. I'm standing there like, yes, I'm owning this. And as soon as I embody this strength, up walks Malibu Barbie. This woman was six foot 20. Her hair had hair. She was like a chia pet. 
body was absolutely perfect. It was fit and curvy at the same time. She had on a sweater dress, things were hugging. She didn't even need Spanx. He's looking at me like, what are Spanx? It's a peace treaty between my left thigh and my right thigh. dripping with diamonds. Diamonds are everywhere. She stands next to me and looks at me and goes, hi, how are you? I'm like, oh, and you're nice too. (laughs) And because I'm feeling like I'm feeling about myself, I don't celebrate her beauty. I decide that she's my enemy. And somewhere in my insecurity, I'm thinking, hmm, she conned some stupid man out of all them diamonds. I could hear my mother from the other side saying it came from your head. (laughs) So I began to pray because that's what I do when I know I really need some help. And I said, please, God, please, God, please do not let her be seated next to me on the plane. (laughs) Got on the plane, God answered. She was across from me. It gave me the time I needed to go inside myself to explore my own stuff. I asked, where's this coming from? There's a beautiful Arabic proverb that says, when a person seeks their purpose, the universe conspires to answer. That's what happened, I got the answer. I said, where's this coming from? I saw myself as a child being told that I was ugly, I was useless, I never matter. I never amount to anything. I thought I had dealt with that when I earned a PhD at 26, when classrooms were named after me, when I sold 11 best-selling books. I thought I dealt with that. But you know what? Your accomplishments don't de- defeat the ego. What defeats the ego is when we can see reflecting from each other our own joy, our own beauty, because we are connected. I asked for forgiveness for those who said it and for myself for believing it. I got off the plane. I'm looking at the gate to try to find my connection. Malibu Barbie comes off all happy. I'm just light though now. I'm light. I've let this stuff go. And she's like, where are you going? I said, where are you going? She's like, I'm going to the Virgin Islands. I was like, I'm going to Buffalo. She looked at the board and she was like, look, we got the same gate connection. We're in the same terminal. I was like, oh, God is not through with me yet. She's like, let's walk together. I said, okay, we're walking to the airport to to the terminal together. We're walking, and as we're walking, I'm trying to keep up with them long legs. As we're walking, every man in the airport is doing this. I couldn't take it after a minute. I said, hey, hey, what's that feel like? To have every man staring at you like that. She said, please don't say that. Don't say that. I said, what's going on with you? She said, just don't, just don't, don't, please don't say. I grabbed her by his shoulders. I said, what's happening? She said, when I was a child, I was told that I was ugly. I was useless. I'd never be anything. I said, did you grow up in my house? (laughs) She said, I believed it, and I married the first man who asked me, and he beat me every day of our marriage. When he wasn't beating me, he was abusing me verbally. It took me years to get away from that marriage, and I only did it because he began to talk to my daughter the same way, and I knew I had to get out. I finally got out. I've met the man of my dreams and he loves me dearly. In fact, at the end of this trip, we're supposed to get married, but I'm having a hard time believing that I deserve this. It's hard because that old stuff is there. In fact, I stood next to you this morning because you look like you had so much confidence and I wanted that confidence for me. I said, wow. I said, you know what, we're sisters. I grabbed her and I hugged her and now the men were really looking. I said, the trick of life is knowing that you deserve goodness, knowing that you are worthy. But we only find that in each other's eyes. We cried and hugged some more, exchanged information, and then she gave me the peace that I needed. The peace that as I walked over here this morning, fighting off another asthma attack and stuff, the reminder that we are connected and that we are all wonderful in each other's eyes. She looked at me and said, by the way, those men were not staring at me. They were staring at you. So I went back and checked. (laughs) 
She was right. <laughs> remember singing with the Icebox Choir with me, and we sang this wonderful song, You Are Beautiful, You Are Wonderful, You Are Powerful Just As You Are. And I want you to just sing it with me right now. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. Sing it like you mean it. You are powerful. You are powerful. Just as you are. Just as you are. Just as you are. Now together. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Just as you are. Just as you are.